In this video, I just wanted to give you some final tips for your lesson plan project. Keep in mind this project is 30% of your grade, so it's really important that you put in the time and the effort to complete this. I am not going to go over the directions or give you any detailed information about the project because that is found in module 13, so make sure to go back and view that video if you have not already. Speaking of module 13, I did post quite a few resources for you in module 13 to help you with this project. So I noticed with some of you with your attendance check-in assignment, you were you know, concerned about the length of this project or making a year-long plan because yes, that is a lot as a teacher. But keep in mind, most of this has already been done for you. Um, so especially those county year-long plans and those county unit plans, the great thing about working in the field of education, typically you do not have to start from scratch. I do not expect you to start from scratch. There's other people that have been doing this for a very long time who have created these resources for you. So utilize them. Um, I do want you to make them your own, but when it comes to making a year long plan, I don't expect you to take your objectives and sit there and go, okay, how am I gonna do this You know, for 36 weeks? There's counties out there that have done it for you already. So just take what they've given you, modify it, make it your own, but that's going to give you a really good idea of how to make a year-long plan. And like I said, um, some of those counties that I posted also are giving you unit plans and lesson plans for you to take from and adapt. So do not think you have to start from scratch. I do not expect you to start from scratch. Utilize those resources. The next tip I want to give you is make sure you take the time to understand your standards and your unpacking documents. So all of your year-long plan, your unit plan, your lesson plan, you make sure that you are referencing your standards and your unpacking documents. And plus too, you're gonna to want to read these and understand these so you have a really good grasp of your curriculum before you get started as a teacher. My next suggestion to you is always consider your destination first. So what is it that you want your students to know by the end of the lesson? So that is that concept of backward design Make sure even for your year-long plan, your unit plan, your lesson plan, make sure again you're considering what you want your students to know by the end of it before you get started planning the beginning of it. Make sure you're using a variety of instructional strategies and active learning strategies in your lesson plans and your unit plans. Make sure if you want to go back and reference what we've done previously in this class, everything is still posted in Moodle for you. So make sure you can go back and reference those materials that I've given you in previous units if you want some ideas on instructional strategies and active learning strategies. For your lesson plans, before you submit them to me, I want you to imagine that you are leaving that lesson plan for a substitute teacher. Would they be able to follow it? There is never too much detail. That's not a thing in education, so please, you know, be as detailed as humanly possible. Make sure, again, pretend that you are leaving those lesson plans on your desk. Would somebody else be able to read those lesson plans and follow it and implement your lesson? And then last but not least, keep in mind planning is never perfect. This is a super rough draft of what you will eventually do as a teacher. Even when you become a teacher and you start your first lesson plans and your first unit plans and year long plans, it's going to change. It is certainly going to change. And with that being said, something that I want to remind you of when you do become a teacher, make sure you reflect on your lesson plans and any changes that you want to make to them for the following year, go ahead and write that down. You're not going to remember it. So you're going to do a lesson. I do this all the time. You implement this lesson and you're like, oh, I need to change problem number five. That one's terrible. You know, it did not go as planned. And then lo and behold, the next year I get right back to the same lesson and I'm like, ooh, there's something I wanted to change about this lesson. I don't remember what it was. Go ahead and make those changes to your lesson plan right after you finish the lesson. Make those changes. Write those updates that you want to make for the following year. And that way you remember it. If you have any questions at all about this project or if you want to get together and meet this week to talk about the project, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I am excited to grade them next week and see what you turn in. Again, if you need any help, I am just an email away.